by the way. Awesome beer right here. <clears throat> so yeah, I put these on about a month ago. They sound amazing. But, like I said, the U-joint's rubbing up on the header. Sorry. So. I've seen this with OBX headers, Cooks headers. Um, almost all of them. It's kind of hit or miss. I mean, these are man-made, so it's definitely not going to be perfect every time. Um, let me see if I can get on the U-joint. So, you can see right there, the U-joint spins and hits that, and it grinded it pretty good. Um, there's a couple of options. Um, I disconnected the steering shaft, pushed it out of the way, and tried to dimple the header that way, which uh, wasn't happening. Uh, that's actually why it was kind of sheared off like that is just because every time I would try to hit it it would uh, it would slide down the header so that's the problem right you so to fix this let's see if we can get a good visual here there is oh, fuck. all right this is gonna be hard hold on if you look right there, there's your motor mount on your driver's side. You don't have to take it all the way off, just crack it loose a little. Um, to do that, I mean, you could probably come through here with a swivel. Um, I took out the spark plug wire and just shot straight down. The other side, um, see if I can get on it too, it is, okay, right there, uh, hold on, right there, now you can take the spark plug wire out for this one, um, I didn't have to. I just came right down here and went straight in. Um, and you don't have to take them out uh, very far, just crack them loose. I cracked it loose and probably did like three or four turns just to be safe, but you don't even really have to do it that much um, as long as you've got it cracked loose. Now, once you do that, you wanna find a good spot to, uh, to pry and move the motor over. Um, you can hit frame down there. That's what I did. Um, and right under the alternator. You can see that nut right there. Um, yeah, you can hit right there. Um, it'll definitely take two people. Unless you're like the fucking Hulk. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have, have one person pry right there. And rock the motor over to the passenger side of the car. And then as they're doing that, have the other person uh, tighten the motor mount back down. Um, and you can see, I mean, obviously it's it's still close. It was a lot closer before. I can turn it now and it doesn't touch. Um, and it, I mean, it, it wouldn't touch before just sitting stationary. But, um, you know, turning out of my driveway and making a right turn, anything like that. They uh, or it would definitely touch. So um, that definitely solved the problem. Um, absolutely loving these headers. It's freaking sunny. But yeah, they are. And, I mean, these are really good headers. I think after they were shipped, I paid maybe seven hundred and fifty bucks. Let's see if we can get up on the car here and see. I mean, they look, they look great, and they sound phenomenal. Oh. 
Oh. Anyways, so oh, my neighbor's looking at me. Um, another thing. Um, might as well add this. This kit. I don't know about the Cooks or OBX or Pace Setter if they even make them for Gen Five Camaros. Um, I got the non-catted ones. You know, but it comes with what looks like cats. Um, and they don't come with bungs to put the O2 sensors in. So, I just went to a muffler shop and uh, had them weld in bungs at the cat. Not on the, uh, the, I guess you'd call it a, I don't know, it's a fake cat, whatever. Um, I didn't have them welded into that, but right after it. Um, that will turn your engine light on without a tune so definitely looking to get a tune and it's worth it I think I made uh I baselined and yeah I don't know if they tuned it I was on a Diablo Sport handheld tuner the end tune I don't know if they kept that on when they tuned it and baselined off that I told them to take it off but I don't know my baseline was super high I think I baselined at 409 rear horsepower and then with the tune, I got to 430 horsepower and 436 foot-pounds of torque at the wheels. So definitely good. Um, looking at doing a cam next, maybe intake. Get rid of that piece of crap. But yeah, um, I wish I'd had it done before I got the headers and after. But uh, pretty sure they made a big difference with those numbers. Um, I was expecting to see like a baseline of like 380, maybe 370, but uh, yeah, baseline at 409 and ended up at 430. So definitely good, great bang for the buck. Um, and they're they're really strong. I mean, I sit there and beat the crap out of them with a pry bar and a hammer, and I couldn't even get it to budge. So uh, definitely good quality. So the only downside is the fitment issue. And like I said, that's kind of hit or miss. I've seen a lot of people saying that they fit perfect. And then, you know, you've got a lot of people saying um, they're having this issue with it. So, hold on. I hate the neighbors seeing me on my phone. I feel like a loser. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Easy fix. Um, just loosen up those two motor mount screws right there. Slide it over and tighten them back down. Um, make sure when you do it, I mean, you've, you've got to, you've got to push the motor over pretty hard. Um, mostly because it, it's going to flex and come back even once you tighten the motor mount back down. It's still going to come back a little. So, uh, push as hard as you can to get it over there. You're fine. It's not going to hurt the car or anything like that. Um, then, you know, there's still plenty of room over here. I'm not touching anything, so you don't have to worry about rubbing anything over there. So, uh... That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody. See you later.